Hey guys, and welcome to today's vlog. So, today we got the kiddos just chilling on the couch. And we're trying to watch um, Lego Masters, but we're having internet difficulties. Uh, so, anyways. Marshmallow is trying to get my stuff to put in. He, he loves things to put things in his mouth. Yeah, he's trying to steal your phone, isn't he? He's like, give me that phone. All right, we got it ready. Yeah, okay, so we got Lego Masters going, so we're just gonna pause it because we actually have a little surprise for Haley. But hold on, Marshmallow's kind of weird. Let me... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Mom, I, um, I tried to guess out um, um, at nighttime and it was so hot. It was like a turtle or like a- A turtle? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, right, Haley. So yeah, yeah, hold on, lighting right there. Okay, so yeah, so we have a quarantine surprise for Haley because you know it's quarantine. <sighs> Might as well have some fun. Ready? Open your eyes. What? This? Just kidding. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You could open your eyes. Oh yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. All the things you can make. Whoa! Uh, whoa, it's so cool! You excited? Yeah. Wait, just one sec. I can make a box. Yeah, you could make a box. So you could watch your show and make all the stuff with it. So you have a challenge to make a bridge. <laughs> Excuse me, that wasn't the surprise. That was just a joke. Fine, go ahead. I was gonna eat it. Yeah, I <laughs> You want one too, buddy? No. no. So, yeah, we got her uh, Lego. She's been really into the Lego Master shows. We were trying to get it on, but we're having Wi Fi. So, yeah, it's the classic set, so you can build. Anything your little imagination wants. So pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. I, I wanna know. What do you think she was more excited for, the chocolate or the Legos? I think they're better both. Comment down below, the chocolate or the Legos? <laughs> you watch too much YouTube, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Inside. She's got a door going. Everything looks good, Amy. Looks Thank really you. good. Alright, guys, so this is what we have so far. You want to tell them, Haley, that we have Mom, this little truck? Mom built that. Mom built that. And I built that with my mommy. I built that with my mom. And I built this with my mommy, too. And I built this with my mommy, too. So we are headed off to see a friend, and but like social distancing, 
distancing style. Like just drive by and say, hey, and we're gonna drop this off at their door and then run back in the house. Yeah, and we got some signs and then. And then tell them that we're gonna, um, that we're outside. But we have toilet paper rolls and then a Starbucks drink. We're literally just getting stuff from our house. A bimbos. Um, famous Ants. Cheez Its. Famous Ants. Whatever. Famous Ants. <laughs> Cookies. Well, um, you know, we're health conscious too, so nut bars. And a bunch of chocolate. So, nothing opened. Everything that they could wipe down and disinfect. Except the toilet paper, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, let's go see. Let's go visit our friends. Well, we got some signs made. And this guy's packed up and ready to go. We're just going to stay in the car. Stay in the car, drop that off. And then we're going to take our gloves and drop that off. And then that's it. Ready, buddy? <laughs> you look so scared. Ready, Haley? Yeah, I'm just watching my iPhone still since I get away. Okay. Nice to it, huh? Yeah. So we have our signs designed by Haley. It says hi. We missed you. And XOXO. She wants a photo for sign. You want a photo for you did? Okay, I'll, let me text them. Alright guys, so we're back home and we, um, from our little field trip, it feels good to get out of the house a little bit. Um, and what did we do? We went to go visit a friend and then we picked up food! Yeah, so we got chilies. So, um, after we dropped off our little care package, said hello, did our, um, you know, I think it's on the vlog, I did it on my phone because the camera was dying. But, uh, you know, we try to stay safe. We had our mask. We went to go pick up food. I had my gloves, the mask. The lady was wearing the same thing, gloves, mask. She said, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, not everyone's um, observing this and you know, wearing the protective gear. Getting the <sighs> So yeah, Cameron died. I think last thing I said was we were wearing our, our mask. The lady was like, thank you for wearing the mask. Thank you for looking <laughs> out. And so, um, Nancy yeah. feels terrible. Yeah, Nancy feels terrible. So you keep like, opening your legs <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> I'm in a row well, too so. it's like have you guys seen that TikTok challenge where like people stand and get in front of their their significant either while they play video games or now while they're on zoom meetings or yeah. you know whatever that's what Nancy is she's wearing a robe and she's just like <laughs> but I'm not meaning to like woo like, get I'm some just, breeze I just took a shower and I think it's I'm sick I think because lack of sleep yeah. I did not sleep. Nancy is always feeling sick and she's those uh, paranoid people who think like I got, you know, everything under the sun right now. It's like, I think I, I got don't the, think I have the coronavirus. I, I think I got the, the Rona, but like she came home, she threw up, she took a bath and, um, it's... and she doesn't sleep. She doesn't listen. I tell her to sleep. Yeah. Cause once I sleep, then I feel better. <laughs> Cause yesterday I let her sleep. She woke up and she felt great. And today she's like, I was up before in the morning making thumbnails. I'm like, why, why just go to sleep? But, with I'm that so said, I don't know. It felt, <laughs> it felt good to see people in person, live, not like via, like it's nice to see them via, you know, video chat, but in person it's just, it's nice to interact. But we did, you know, they were across the street, you'll see on the footage, and we were Blah, like, blah, 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 but look at my food. Look at potatoes. Ate up my corn. And my chicken. Your Nancy is real wide open. <laughs> so um, we also got some of this, some some chips. So we nuke those. That microwaving your food, which is what we did before, is supposed to help kill viruses, bacteria. And then we have 
this giant cookie. And then we have the ice cream in there in the fridge. But um, what's funny story about that is like, Haley was actually like, is this barbecue sauce? <laughs> Let's see where focus is, focus. No. So she's like, I'm like, I don't know. And so she tried it. <laughs> and she she goes, yeah, she goes, <laughs> she goes, it tastes like chocolate. Like, like, I'm like, oh, that's right. It's the fudge for the cookie. Oh my god. So what do you guys uh what are you guys uh you know ordering out if you are ordering out comment down below one of your favorite uh, Uber Eats or drive through items that you guys have. <laughs> Did you guys hear the kid? That was Fox. He sounded like like a chicken, didn't he? Yeah. Was that like a chicken? I would say like a chicken. So anyways, um yeah, what are you guys um getting on curbside during this if you are? Um we feel guilty when we do. Yeah. I want to myself. <laughs> oh my god, I look like crap. Never mind, I don't want to see myself. <laughs> I have to wear my broken glasses. For those of you who don't know, I broke them doing a damn TikTok. And my glasses are now broken. So then I have to wear my stronger glasses, which make me get a headache, which make me feel also sick. Ugh. Anyways. Um, we've gone twice to get food. This time at McDonald's and both of them, we felt super guilty, huh? Just yeah. for leave, we felt guilty just for leaving the house to like drive. Like we just feel super guilty. Like we should not be leaving the house. Then we get mad when we see like while we were driving, people just like whatever, not even wearing masks. Just running there was dogs. <laughs> there was like a whole group of people playing volleyball at the park, and we're like, what? What the? Like we were so but, mad. But they were. What were they wearing? And they were wearing masks. But it was like, like twelve people. Yeah, it was like a lot of people all together and huddled, but they were wearing masks. I'm like, okay. You still have to be six feet apart, people. So yeah, this uh, this coronavirus, guys, it's um. It's a bitch. It gets you sometimes. Sometimes you're just like home and you're like, I want to get out, but you're like I shouldn't. But if you do, try to be safe. Um, we haven't even gone grocery shopping anymore. Now we just go Instacart, which if you guys uh, have seen some of our previous videos, you see us wiping down all our, um, our groceries and washing our vegetables with uh, soap and water. So we're trying to listen to what, you know, the president say, what the governor say, what the CDC says. And so we're just, you know, trying to do our part. But every Wait. now and then we have chilies. I don't, I'm, I don't get upset that I can't leave. I was like, what is that? And it's your... You're, you're like oh <laughs> sorry i don't get upset over the fact that i can't leave the house like i'm i don't like leaving the house anyways so i don't get upset over that what uh, upsets me is that like even if i instacart that's fine but it's like my responsibility to make sure that everything is super disinfected that nothing gets on anything and if it does that's on me like I have to make sure I'm protecting my family. I think that's what is like so so stressful. Making sure that you're taking the necessary precaution. But sometimes like say you really think you clean something and then there's like a little spot and then that's what has you know, like that anxiety is what's getting to me. How many times have we washed our hands today? My hands are ch chapped from cleaning products and from like overwashing. Like they're just chapped. Yeah, we have dry hands. We probably and they both hurt. washed our hands like in the last hour, like ten times at yeah. least minimum. Because what we were transferring the food and stuff, and and um, putting it into our plates to make sure we microwave and throwing away that and throwing it out and make sure like since we got out of the car, the car is disinfected, the garage door is disinfected, the no door knobs are disinfected. So if our kid like opens it, like she's not. You know, because kids tend just to put their hands in their mouth without thinking. And we're running out of these guys right here. What? So, all last night, like, when I say I didn't sleep last night, it's not, I didn't sleep at all last night. And um, I was searching. I went to the, go, if you guys can find supplies, go on to the CDC website. They give you a list of all the products. There's like hundreds that you could use to disinfect your house. So, I was luckily lucky to fall upon this pet cleaner it's a pet cleaner for odor and stains for pets but it disinfects your house 
so you could use it instead of Clorox wipes well not the wipes the spray instead of like Lysol spray throughout your house and it works just the same and it disinfects everything it just made kind of for pets pet owners but the CDC says you could use it and it will work and so I bought I bought six of them six spray bottles because who knows when the heck if those are gonna run out and I got them at petco.com who knows when they're gonna run out and if I'm gonna be able to get anything else so I don't want to get like hoard but I just wanted to get enough that I would feel okay with that cleaning all our stuff cleaning our stuff with that because we clean a lot of a lot so that's my tidbit for the day guys my advice yeah